two sample or two population proportion test. Uh, what is the most appropriate situation when you can apply this and how to analyze the data using both Excel and Minitab and how to explain the results. Um, when the similar to the uh, single sample proportion test, when the mean or the standard deviation uh, is not an appropriate measure uh, for the population parameter, then we, uh, when the rate is the appropriate measure, then these two sample population proportion test are used. Now to det no details about this, check this openeducator.com theories here. There are a couple of limitations. Um, so l let me give you an example for that. Um, this is kind of shocking statistics for the uh, death rate uh, from the drug abuse in the United States. It is one of the highest in the world. Um, the more interestingly, um, female has almost twice more death rate than the second place, which is Russia, uh, due to the drug abuse. So female has significantly higher drug abuse and as well as their death rate uh, or fatality rate. Now, the question is, uh, generally, female typically have less issue with drug abuse and things like that. So one of the questions would be, do the female in the United States use drug more than the male? So to compare two population, the male population and female population in terms of the drug abuse fatality rate, uh, we can apply this population proportion test. Now this data is between this uh, average for last almost 20 years. The current rate is even higher. So. Uh, basically, hypothesis, you can, in this case, we are not, um, we're saying are they different or still female is the last, things like that. We are hypothesizing zero. So this is the formula for that. If there is any hypothesized difference, then you use the second formula, but first formula if there is no difference. Now, the let me show you how to do it in Excel, and then we'll talk about how to do it in Minitab. So, here is the all the numbers that I have calculated. This is the formula. You can check that from openeducator.com. So this is the number of female uh, died between that period, uh, the average number of people per year. This is the average number of male, the total average number of people here. We calculated the p-bar. Um, Simply just dividing by this number of people affected by the total number. And then the overall P is a, um, you can calculate using uh, this formula, P bar equal X1 plus X2 divided by the total population. Let me show you how to calculate the Z value. So the Z value simply equal to, and we'll start with the parentheses. Um, that's the P bar for female minus the male population divided by SQRT. I'm going to be using a bunch of parentheses. Let's do three of them. Uh, P bar is the total uh, overall, this one, overall rate times one minus this overall rate, close the parentheses, times start another parentheses, one divided by um, this guy plus one divided by this guy, close the parentheses, then start a bunch of them. So that's the Z value. Now to calculate the P value from there, norms dist, and then just select this value. You don't have to do one minus because it's already the negative tail, left tail. So the norm dist function in Excel, it calculated probability from the left tail to all the way up to that point. So here is it. So it's zero, meaning that we reject the null hypothesis. The probability for the null hypothesis is zero. That means it's not gonna happen. So we reject the null hypothesis because it will not happen. So all the calculations shown here, Oh, let me show you how to do it in the, okay, let me explain it first. So we reject the null hypothesis, meaning that it's not gonna happen, the probability is very low. So yes, uh, the female has a still 
the low number of death rate than the male population. So that was the alternative hypothesis we made that female is still less. Yes, statistically, female is still abuses the drug less and is still their fatality is less than the male. Now let me show you how to do it in Minitab. Very simple. Hopefully it's gonna work for me. I'm not an expert in Minitab. So, let's go. summarize data. Let me bring my Excel file on this side. All right, so even for sample one, I'm gonna copy that. Control C, Control V. Oops, still giving me some warnings there. Let me turn up, mute my mic. And then this one, we'll go there. Number of trial goes there. And then for the total male population goes there. Uh, hit OK. So there is the result. Same Z value, same P value. So that indicates we did the analysis in Excel correctly. Um, I think that's all we wanted to talk about. Let me see. Yes.